Hello everybody, this is Mr. Bowman. Today we're going to be looking at the Alex topic, a table for a linear equation. So we're going to fill in this table using the function rule, which we normally call equations, but that is specifically telling us in this case that it is a function, which is that special type of equation where each input goes to a single output. So to do this, we're basically just going to evaluate this equation for each one of our four inputs. So we'll do this four times. So if I look at this first one, I'm going to plug in negative 1, and it's under the x column, so I'm going to plug it in for x. So it's going to be y equals negative 6. I am plugging in a value, so I want to put that value in parentheses to make sure I don't do anything with the negative signs by mistake. So instead of y equals negative 6 times x plus 1, it's y equals negative 6 times negative 1 plus 1. After that, we just clean it up. So I want to do my multiplication first. So negative 6 times negative 1 is positive 6. Bring down the plus 1. So in this case, y is 7. So since that was with negative 1, the input's negative 1, the output is 7. So using my table here goes negative 1 to 7. All right, I'm going to end up doing this four times because I have four inputs. So I'm going to do it again, but instead of negative 1, I'm going to plug in 0 for x. So y equals negative 6 times 0 plus 1. Anything times 0 is 0. Bring down the plus 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. So I'll add that in my 0 row. Moving down, it's the same thing, but instead of negative 1 to 0, I'm going to plug in 1. Negative 6 times 1 plus 1. Negative 6 times 1 is negative 6. Bring down the plus 1. Now I have a negative plus a positive, so I end up with negative 5 here. Okay, And last but not least, I'm going to do it with my input of 5. y equals negative 6 times 5 plus 1. Negative 6 times 5 is negative 30. Bring down the plus 1. I end up with negative 29. Our table is now complete. There's no missing gaps or anything in there. So we're all done.